$10,000 for each meeting in places like the Madison Square Garden in New York. Venues of that kind, $10,000 per meeting, four meetings in the United States, $40,000. But the questioner is asking whether I would be prepared to invite him to Mecca. Now, I don't rule Mecca, number one. Number two, if you want to get into Mecca, you need a visa. When I had to come to the United States, your government forced me to get a visa. And I went through the process of acquiring that visa, and I'm here. You see, I wanted to get, go to the old Zambia. You know, when Zambia became independent, I wanted to go to Zambia. At that time, Smith was ruling this south, southern Rhodesia. So they gave me visa forms. And I had to sign at the back that I do not recognize the illegitimate Smith regime before they'll give me a visa. I had to, I wanted to go. So I had to sign the document that I do not recognize the illegitimate Smith regime in southern Rhodesia. Say, similarly, if I have to come to the United States, I, feel, I fulfill your terms and conditions. Whatever you tell me, if I'm prepared to go through with it, I get the visa. Without that, no visa in Canada, no visa here, no visa for people in South Africa. You have to fulfill the conditions. Now, there is a condition attached to you visiting Mecca. And that condition is that you declare with your lips, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah. The meaning is, the meaning is that I believe that there is but one God, not Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, not Jesus, that God. I believe in the one and only God, Allah, which is his name. And that Muhammad is the last and final messenger of God. You feel that condition, you are welcome to come to Mecca. <laughs> Mr. Swagger. Mr. Swagger, according to your argument, the King James Version of the Holy Bible is necessary for salvation. Can we then surmise that anyone who uses Bible or another Bible will burn in hell, such as Muslims, Buddhists, Catholics, Jews, etc.? I have never said, never believed that you have to believe in the King James Version to be saved. That's foolishness. That's silly. And before I answer the question, if you won't let me come to Mecca, let me go on television over there. <laughs> Mr. Dedock mentioned the Douay version of the Bible. Sir, we do believe in the Douay version of the Bible. Translation, let's put it that way. We do not accept those spurious books that were mentioned, but we do believe in the Douay translation. We feel it's a good translation. No one has to believe in a particular translation of the Bible to be saved. You do have to believe in the Word of God to be saved. And once again, the Word of God says, there is none other name under heaven. It also tells us that we are saved by faith not by works, lest any man should boast. We're saved by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I don't care where that word is. If the word of God, do you have a Quran over there, sir? Could I? I mean, I was hoping he brought one. <laughs> okay. Any word of God that's in this book, if you believe it pertaining to salvation, you will be saved. You follow what I'm saying? If the Word of God pertaining to salvation, pertaining to being redeemed, pertaining to being saved, if it's written on the side of a wall somewhere, to be frank with you, it's written on our hearts. That's what the Bible tells us. You can Memorize this book and worship it, and it won't save you. It has no power to save you. But the Word of God, if adhered to, and that means accepting Jesus Christ as one's own personal Savior. 
If that is in the Quran, you can be saved. Mr. Didad, how does the Muslim account for different versions of the Quran? Does this make all of the versions um, lies as you claim the Bible is? I repeat, there is no such thing as different versions of the Quran. I said there are translations. Yours are versions. Brother Swaggart, in the previous question he ans uh, answered, he said, look, there are seven spurious books in the Dua version. Seven spurious means which he rejects. So it's a version. There are seven books out of this which he is not prepared to accept as the word of God. Whereas every Quran in the world translated as a, it is God's word, translated. And you have a choice of words, but they are not versions. This is a version. This is a version. Chunks and chunks are thrown out from what is in here. Different version. I hope you understand my English. You know, I don't know how, how, how simpler I can put it to you. That the things are varying. What is in here? Seven books? Not in here. What is in here is not in there. What is in here is taken out from there again. Can you see? It's a version. I hope. <laughs> Reverend Jimmy Swaggart, what is Trinity? We believe the Word of God teaches that there is one God, not 2, 5, 10, 12, 15, one God, manifest in three persons, three different personalities. We believe there is a Heavenly Father, we believe there is God the Son, and we believe the Holy Ghost, as Mr. D. Dot mentioned, that came upon Mary, is also God. They are indivisible, meaning they agree perfectly. They are one in unity. They never disagree, they never have disagreed. We believe that when you get to heaven, if you get there, Jesus Christ, the Son of God will be seated according to the Word of God by the right hand of the Father and will actually maintain that throne forever, basically. That's what we mean by the Trinity in a short nutshell. We have a time exactly for two more questions. Mr. Dida, do you believe in the Holy Ghost? Why or why not? You see, the idea of the Holy Ghost in Christendom is that he's one in a trinity. But the Christian says that the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God. But they are not three gods, but one God. In his catechism, he continues that the Father is Almighty, the Son is Almighty, and the Holy Ghost is Almighty. But there are not three Almighties, but one Almighty. It continues, your catechism. It says the Father is a person, the Son is a person, and the Holy Ghost is a person. That's what Brother Swagger says in his book. Person, person, person. But not three person, but one person. I am asking what language are you speaking? I'm asking, is that English? By God, it is gibberish, it's not English. You see, you say person, 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 but not three person, but one person. I said, Brother Swagat, you and your two other brothers, let's say you are three identical triplets, and we can't make the difference out between the three of you. They're all identical. We can't make out the difference. If one of you commit murder, can we hang the other? You say no. I'm asking, why not? So you tell me that he's a different person. I said, right. What makes him different? His personality. So the father, 
you know, imagination, the human mind, you can't help. When you use words, they conjure up mental pictures. When you say in the name of the Father, you have a certain mental picture of that old Father Christmas, Santa Claus, millions and millions of times bigger than man, but something like a man sitting on some planet with his feet dangling onto the earth as his footstool, the heaven as his canopy, the loving Father.